Hello, love. This is your girl, Lynn, here with Bohemian Heart Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you all for your um, continued support as I build and grow the channel. So, I wanted to bring in some um, energy tonight regarding Mars, the planet Mars, and um, energy of manifesting with the planet Mars, and specifically since we just entered, and I took some notes that I have um, typed up here. So let's see here. Um, on March the 24th, okay, um, we went into the Aries New Moon energy, okay? So there was an enhancement of all the new energy that is circulating in the air. So right now, there's a lot of fear, a lot of negativity. People are very guarded. Um, very defensive, you know, kind of feeling like their backs are up against a wall and everything is just coming at them. Um, things are just not feeling the same and I already um, pulled my um, spreads because I, I was flipping cards when I was talking um, this through to myself and kind of concentrating on what was going on in the world. So I wanted to share this information with you all, okay? So what made me do this whole thing was, of course, and I have notes in here, but this is my little, my agenda that I write a lot of notes in. Um, and when I have reading um, books, I schedule them all in here. So I'm going to show you all a page, and I don't want to, because I have people's personal names and information in here. I'm very old school with my appointment scheduling, even though I have a website. Um, I do like to write everything down, okay? So let's see. All right, here's a page here, okay? So I'm just going to try to show you all what it says at the beginning up there, where it says Mars in March, okay? So in French, the word March is March. Just like the planet Mars, okay? Um, so, March also means manifestation, okay? All right. So, I was doing my research and I found that online, okay? Now, manifesting energy, and like I said, right now, we do have a lot of um, energy in the atmosphere, in the stratosphere. A lot of Mars energy is in our planet, uh, Mars reign, Mars rules over willpower, um, the urge to violence or wild activity. Okay, this is all online. Um, I just want to provide you all with the scholarship and kind of give you an overall synopsis um, from me researching different sources, but also from spiritual downloads as well. Okay, so there's a lot of planetary shift r shifts right now. Okay. Mars energy is also the personification of yang energy. Yang is masculine energy, okay? So that also rules over more root chakra energy, sacral chakra energy, sexual energy, um, and things like that. Um, competition, ego, all right? So we have that. And then it says here that, um, let's see, that right now, Let's see. Let's see. I have a lot of notes, you guys. Give me one second. Because I just kind of skipped around so that I didn't bore you guys with all of the research that I did. Let's see. All right. So it's saying that um, energy cycles through the earth and cyst. And I don't know why I put that here. But I put energy cycles through the systems of earth. Um, coming from different locations. So energy can come from the sun. It can come from the earth. And it can come from different planets. I don't know why I put two locations. Because it can come from three. And even in astrology, um, you are impacted by um, these other energies as well. Okay? All right. So also what I put here was that we were wrapping up a karmic cycle, okay? And as this karmic cycle comes to a close, there's a lot of chaos because things are like shifting so so to the point where they're falling out of balance. 
okay? So it's just like if you're going through a mass shift and change and you're moving from one house or one location to another, things and you um, you get a moving truck to come in and get all of your stuff. It's all packaged up, all neat. Um, but then when they drop off the boxes, let's say they just unpack everything and leave everything in piles, okay? So everything has to be sorted out and set up. You know how hectic it is when you first move. Everything is chaotic. Even if you're a very neat person, you packed it professionally. You had movers come in and pack it and unpack. Like it's still just a very hectic until everything settles in, um, until the smoke clears, okay? Uh, Mars also rules over um, survival, okay? So a lot of people are in survival mode right now, um, apparently, with what's going on within our planet, uh, within our society, on our planet. Because this is not just affecting the United States. It's not just affecting China. This is a worldwide global epidemic, okay? And we're on the cusp of finally um, realizing how serious it is, trying to get some tangents on it. So we haven't even... Um, come into the full awareness of what it is, how it's going to affect us, you know, what the symptoms are. They're still updating that on a daily basis. Um, the people that are surviving, what are they doing different than the people that are coming to a demise behind this? So everything is just all over the place, all of this energy. Everybody's in survival mode. You know, when you go to the store, everybody's frantic trying to, you know, just even purchase tissue, um, you know, or toilet paper, um, things like that. So, um, you know, here in um, the DMV area now in Virginia, because every state, Maryland has their own laws. In the District of Columbia, D.C., which is not a, an official state, they have their own laws as well. But um, So I'll just specifically talk about Virginia, where I live. So now, as of today, we're not shelter in place or you know under a specific curfew or guideline yet, but... Um, you know, probably because we're in between two military bases, and plus we're near the Pentagon, which is in Virginia. Um, but we're near, um, you know, a couple of different uh, military bases here. So it's, you know, it's not, it hasn't been established yet, but where we are right now is only 10 people, and we did get information in the mail regarding this. But for example, today, when I went to the store, only 10 people at a time can be inside of a store, okay? So social distancing has become more and more of a real thing. The definition of it has changed on a daily basis. The definition of coronavirus is changing on it, or COVID-19 is changing on a daily basis. So everything is all over the place, and that is because we are frantic. We're using our animal instincts. We have kicked into survive, survival mode, okay? Some people um, handle this with fear. Some people handle this with anger, okay? Some people feel defeated, and they just simply, um, but again, it's survival mode, okay, right now that we're all in. So I wanted to also um, use Tarot because as I was thinking about all of this, I started seeing the challenges that the celebrities were doing with the song, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. So I was just kind of like, you know, trying to tie that all to what was going on uh, in the um, atmosphere as far as energetic, uh, planetary reactions and, you know, um, our responses to matter. Um, around us and energy around us. We're all affected by energy. We're all made of energy. Um, even scientifically, humans are composed of, you know, different gases. We have different chemical reactions that take place inside of us, um, you know, from a scientific perspective. So, you know, of course, we are affected by energies all around us. They influence us. They impact us. And they get things, you know, moving in a specific direction for us, good, bad, and indifferent. That's why zodiac signs can... Um, kind of predict what's going to happen in your life um, because we are all composed of energy, okay? Anything else I took notes about? 
Okay, so that's all I want to touch on in my notes. I'm going to jump into some Tarot. So when I was, you know, thinking about that um, challenge, he's got the whole world in his hands. Then I came up with this card when I first started doing the spread. And I thought this was a little, um, a little, a little more magical than I was ready for. Because, I mean, spirit does not play. We all know that. We're all aware of that. But look at this card. This, this man literally has the world in his hands, okay? He's got the whole world in his hands, you know, manifesting things. Look at those stars in the background. Like, we have to break this whole card down because this is just, like, when I saw this, I was like, okay, wow. So, Spirit, you're really answering my questions right now. So, um, you know, and I'm just looking at things. He's at the top of this tower, it looks like, okay? Now, in Tarot, the tower card does talk about a powerful change. It's also one of the cards that I get when I get a spread for um, when someone could possibly have a physical death, okay, or just some powerful realization. It could also be like if you're married or divorced, you know, a car accident or anything that's just, you know, um, catching somebody off guard and it's just like, boom, something happens, okay? So that's the card that I got. Um, another thing that's standing out to me is all of this right here. Um, this energetic um, matter in the background in the form of, I don't want to say clouds or smoke or fire. To me, it's just kind of like energy. And if you notice here, this cat. It's looking down, this cat's looking up, and this one has like this little stick in his hand or like a dagger or something, and he's just kind of like in go mode, like in defense mode, and then somebody is climbing up, a lizard climbing up, you know. So, I mean, I've done a, a video on my um, message from Spirit regarding coronavirus. You know, of course, again, everybody is guarded, okay? Everybody has their walls up, very defensive. Okay, so then more major um, are kind of showing me and confirming what's going on. So this is the star card, and it's talking about, to me, this is saying, as above, so below. And some star cards don't even have this kind of reference where her hands are up like that. Um, but for this star card, especially with the... Uh, with the focus of this video being on Mars energy, okay? This galactic pool, it's almost like she has one thing in her hand and she's she's pulling down something, okay? She's trying to hold something steady in the other hand. And to me, this could also be representative of Mother Earth, okay? Because there's a shift and a cleansing going on, okay? Um, and I don't want to get too deep into this to kind of um, talk out of um, a point of reference for those of you who are not familiar with different planetary energies but if you look at your zodiac then um, that will let you know that you know you have a specific energy that is a part of your makeup okay for the character that you are in this earth acting as dot 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 whoever your you know whatever your name is so for me, whenever I do personal readings for clients, I always start with say your full name and your date of birth for me because I can tap instantly into that energy feel. Um, I get into that aura and connect myself, get those digital downloads, and I'm able to divine that way. Okay, This is sacred. This has been done for eons, and this is how... Um, you're able to read a horoscope and it can connect to your day. I always read mine when I was younger and I was reading horoscopes that were that would come out in the paper. I would always read mine after the fact to see how spookily, scarily accurate they were. Okay. So I did get some more cards um, here, but they're kind of you know just cards that I don't want to really get too deep into. So I'll talk about this one. The judgment in reverse. So not making a final judgment call because, again, we don't know from day to day what's going on, right? So what I did notice in this particular card, and only in this deck, every deck that I have has different, you know, imagery and different um, connotations as far as, like, how they are 
um, giving you a perception of what their ideal um, lism is for the card that they represent specific energy flows and specific people situations but with this judgment card she's just kind of like marching off you know in the wind playing um what looks like i don't know my instruments that well anymore but it's the air horn clearly um i want to say i'm getting the the image of a trumpet for a final judgment kind of in the context of like revelation almost is what i'm getting here but it's in reverse so music okay mind you again when i pulled the cards i asked about the um, whole world in his hand challenge so it's coming up music in reverse so um i feel like this is like a sensitive subject to people um i do understand that celebrities um did um tyler perry for um allegedly started that challenge to kind of get to give people inspiration so um you know people are looking for inspiration during this time but again i want us to tap into the mars energy um, how you can use it for manifesting, especially during the coronavirus um, or COVID. Um, especially during the times that we're in, okay? All right. Okay, so we do have, um, we just, Exited a full moon, okay? I'm sorry, new moon. Okay. All right. So, and as far as using Mars energy right now, um, okay. So, what's on the bottom of the deck is grief. Okay. Being in deep mourning, um impeding energies of negativity um for some people so needing to persevere okay needing to expand your thought process and needing to um align yourself with these universal energies and i always talk about symbols that you can use um healing tools that you can use i make these but they sell these on amazon um, they sell these online, okay, sacred symbols like unks, okay, and um, ancient Egyptians used to actually place these over different parts of their body to repair them if there was some kind of um, situation that happened and they needed healing, okay. Okay, so I reshuffle and I got grief again, okay. So definitely um, during this time because, again, um, of what we're hearing and you know people are gossiping and telling us one thing we're not sure what to believe so you can call pull down that energy um, Mars energy to um, to shift okay and to uh, manifest okay because again there's a lot of competition and ego around a lot of masculine energy I would also go so far as to say uh, that you can tap into uh, more Venus energy, more feminine energy. You know how they say men are from Mars? Like that just came to me. And it makes sense because, again, it's a very masculine dominant energy. Um, so when they say men are from Mars and women are from Venus, um, the only thing that can really conquer Mars energy, Spirit is talking right now, is feminine energy. Okay? That is the true, like, like, if you put two masculine yang energies together, you have war, okay? So, in order to conquer Mars energy or to overcome the harsh anger and aggress aggression of the Mars energy, okay, um, I would say um, that you would want to use more creative energy, okay? So, use this as a time to manifest um change through positive thinking and pouring into creative endeavors okay yeah um you can also use libra energy which is air energy and balancing the scales and it's interesting because i also had gemini energy here which those twins um so you can use energy again of connecting yin 
versus yang is not ever good, but yin and yang together combined equals balance, which is what I'm saying here with those two twins, okay? And even with the Libra scales, they are always to remain in balance, okay? You guys, I'm sorry. When I get distracted, I'm getting downloads, okay? And I have a couple of different decks here that I want to pull from. You know what? Let me use this one particular deck. Um... Well, I mean, I would have used it if I would have brought the whole thing in here with me, but I don't know why. I only brought this many. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so, okay. And I, I just, because I'm talking about Mars energy, I was just attracted to my decks that have moons on them. Do I have the rest of them in here? Give me one moment, guys. I cannot pause my videos on my iMac. Okay, only when I'm using my camera or my phone can I do that. So, um, so yeah, I'll just kind of talk through this as I look. So pretty much, whenever you start feeling a lot of energy, feeling weird, things feel different, you can go online and check and see, you know, what kind of planetary energy we're in because again, we are all energy. So, you know, you know, that'll help you to understand what's affecting you. Um, I'm I'm seeing a picture, a visualization is coming to mind for me right now. Um, I'm getting a picture of a th what do you call it? A thermostat. Okay? So, like a thermostat, the energies in the planet affect us. Okay? All right, so since I didn't have all those, I just went for another deck all together. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, with Mars energy, what other energy, what messages do you have for us right now, Spirit, regarding Mars energy? All right, so I have an illusion here. Earth Galaxy, okay. These are my galactic cards. So Earth Galaxy is in reverse. Okay. Breathing is in reverse. Okay. And I feel like that has a lot to do with the whole um, um, health situation that's going on out here in the universe. Okay. So let's see. Authenticity. Sacred Heart, Attraction and Pathways. Okay. So to me, what that is saying is that um, there are some illusions out here that need to be shattered. Okay. Again, going into the Mars energy. Okay. So when it's talking about an illusion, it's talking about something that needs to be done away with that goes into egos. Okay. That goes into anger, aggression. Definitely Mars energy, okay? So with the Earth galaxy in reverse, to me, that is t also talking about the feminine energy. We're not in that energy right now, though. We're in the masculine energy of the Yang and the Mars. So the, um, the Earth galaxy, which to me is speaking and representative of the femininity, um, it's in reverse. It's blocked right now. It's, and see, there's not even a balance between the two. Okay. So remember I said earlier, yin and yang need to connect. And that's how you form the symbol of balance. Where it's black on one side, white on the other side. And the white side has a black dot. The black side has a white dot. Feng shui, duality, polarity, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then breathing in reverse. Um, yeah, a lot of us are affected in this specific area going down our heart, heart chakra, um, where our lungs are, you know, throat, all of that, the whole area that controls breathing. Okay. All right. Let's see. Watch this. See, 
as soon as I said that, look, feminine in reverse. This is the word feminine, okay? And hopefully, I would probably have to flip it to mirror image so you guys can see. But feminine is blocked right now. Some of my cards, okay, this is driving me crazy. Let me redo it. Some of my cards are like flipped around. I'm like, how did that happen? But it still showed me feminine being blocked, which is going back to what I was just talking about. Okay. All right. So we have some mysteries, anger, which goes into the Mars energy. Okay. And pathways. So when I said earlier that we were going down different, um, different i didn't say we're going through different pathways but i was talking about the shifts that are created okay so how can we use mars energy to manifest during this time because there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere okay so get rid of fear because that's in reverse see this is fear so you want to get rid of that okay all right bring in more love Okay, and I feel like this is like self-love, okay? All right, seven seals. To me, this goes back to, I'm hearing Merkaba or Merkaba or however you pronounce it, but I'm hearing the Merkaba and I'm seeing like energy shooting up from the root because remember I said that Mars energy was more of that root chakra energy right there, okay? So going up. Okay, and also, is this a couple? Yeah, this is masculine. So this is a man here and a woman here. Okay, but if you look at, you can see the colors on his chakras. You can see the wheels, okay? But with her, I feel like there's just light, okay? Pouring into her, all right? But with this block, this light does not shine through, okay? All right, so let's see. Okay, grace and surrender. Yeah, awakening. See, a lot of people are not responding to their awakening. It's in reverse. Even empress is in reverse. <laughs> like, literally, I can't make this up. All the feminine energy is in reverse right now. So, he's got the whole world in his hands. He, being the masculine, is in control right now. Okay, we're in Mars. Okay, so we are going to have to go into harmony. Okay, so again, that's what I've been saying all night. The different aspects of being harmony include calling in that using your Venus energy. Uh oh, pulling in Venus energy. Okay, discovering. Okay, so just aligning yourself with the higher realm um, and not the energy of fear. Um, wow, this just popped out with the energy of um, manifestation. See, this card says transition, but it's in reverse. So if we're all shifting into a new energy, but we're doing it in fear, then that does not raise the vibration of the planet, okay? Choice. Yeah, we must make the choice um, to transition in um, in light versus darkness. So for those of you that are watching my video, you may be called to be a light worker or to be one of the people who um, lift the energy of the planet, okay, um, to bring in that divine union that I was talking about, dark and light, okay, because um, right now we're in the darkness and there's the void, but I don't know if you guys have ever gotten white paint mixed from the store before. This is the veil in reverse. But I ended up in the veil and the void. That's like the galaxy, okay? I ended up getting um, some white paint mix for my house when I bought my first house years ago. And I went to Lowe's and they stood and they mixed the paint for me. And I stood there and watched and they put black in my white paint. And I was like, what in the world are they doing? So, I'm hearing perfect black, black hole, black void, okay, um, to create even light. It comes from darkness. So, again, you, you need light. You need darkness. 
There has to be a balance of the two for the yin-yang effect, okay? So keep that in mind as we shift and transition, okay? So um, also when I was talking about the Libra scales being balanced earlier, this card is telling me here a win-win outcome um, is forecast. Okay, so the full moon in Libra. We do have a full moon coming up. I don't know if it's in Libra, but I will find out. Um, but it's saying here, don't let your pride get in the way with Leo card, with strength, with a lion. And what did I tell you guys earlier? This is the masculine. Don't let the masculine energy um, overcome um, with the anger, with the, um, the warrior energy. So don't let it, um, you know, overpower us, okay? Again, this card is speaking to the feminine energy needing to come in to balance. And now that I'm looking at the moon, when it is, I guess this is a waxing moon. Um, yeah, this is a waxing moon. It's kind of showing me that it almost looks like a yin-yang as well. But see, it's a very little feminine energy here. It's very little light here. It's more, more masculine, much more masculine energy right now. So that's what I'm hearing. Venus, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. So we need to all be meditating right now. Why am I dropping all these cards? Okay. Um, meditating right now. So we just had the new moon. Okay. All right. So meditating. This says new moon in Pisces. I don't, I think the new moon was in Aries. Okay. Um, but Pisces, again, is a duality as well. As you can see, there are two fish. And I know in Zodiac, um, in Zodiac definition, is two fish trying to swim upstream, kind of being pulled in opposite directions. It's kind of like a Gemini energy, which is an air sign of the water sign trio. Okay. So, yeah, so this is where we are now. It says here, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So I can kind of wrap it up here because that's the energy we're in right now. But again, we're going through a shift and an ending of a specific cycle. Um, so pretty much, guys, I don't know. I really wanted to use this deck right here. I only have like a handful of a skinny little stack of cards. Maybe it was a message in these. Yeah, message in these about the path that we're on with the number eight here. But yeah, so that's only only what I could get from that because I didn't bring the rest in here. And um, I can't pause the video. So I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that and wait. But again, I definitely appreciate you all for watching my video. Before I go, I wanted to say that I will be doing a giveaway on my third eye um, meditation um, crystal, orgone crystal um, creations that I have here. Okay. So, yeah, so this one is to connect to higher realms, okay, to activate your third eye. You can put this on your altar table. Um, you can put it anywhere in your house that you want to protect yourself from EMF frequencies. But I like to um, meditate with them on my third eye. All of my pieces are handmade, and I infuse Reiki energy and healing energy into them. So you can definitely feel the energy when uh, when you use this. When I create my pieces, I use sophragio frequencies as well. You guys, I'm not just advocating for these because I made them. And honestly, it's not just me. Spirit guided me to make these. So I choose the specific stones that go in here. I try to put at least um I, I like to work in numbers of nine so i try to put at least nine different stones in here and you all may not be able to see them but there are nine different stones in here okay and then i have let's see if this is in this side and then i have copper um stainless steel uh what else is in here? Silver. Um, all the crushed pieces that that I feel inspired to put in here. Um, I'm missing something. But anyway, um, so you, as you guys can see, there are several different um, stones 
plenty of different colors. This is like the frequency that you want to be vibrating on when you're meditating, okay? Even if you do not buy these from me, make sure you are using any kind of origami crystals, especially during this transition, because it's going to take the energy that comes in, transmute it, okay? And if you guys want to look any of these things up, you can. People do tons and tons of videos and research books. All kind of literature scholarship is available in all er areas um, globally, especially online. All right. But that was just what I wanted to speak about. Um, um, balancing the Mars energy with some venus energy um, and some romantic energy um so that's just putting love in the atmosphere um you can use your rose quartz rose water um roses rose otter oil which is the highest frequency vibrational um essential oil that you can own in your collection um It, it is the highest frequency vibration oil, but I'm trying to pull it up. Okay, so it resonates at 320 megahertz. Now, some of them will go up to 580 megahertz, okay? This means that if you are trying to increase your vibration, your level of happiness, um, you want to have some rose oil. Now, I remember when I first started off um, with oils, essential oils, I was trying to buy some rose oil because I learned about the frequencies, right? So let me just forewarn anybody that's not aware and they're looking, okay? Now, um, if you want to order a piece from me and you would like it infused with rose oil, I can do that for you all because I do have a cabinet of oils that i use um for products spiritual products okay um i'm showing here 30 milliliters which is one ounce which is a small small bottle like a vial small vial rose absolute essential oil 219 dollars and 95 cents and this is us dollars okay so and this is from morocco so just be mindful that um, the reason that it's so expensive is because it's vibrating at a level that is higher than imaginable, especially if you haven't been exposed to this, it's kind of like a divine, um, you know, um, uh, oil, I would say. Um, then after that, I will go with patchouli, um, sandalwood, neroli, and lang lang, okay? But I definitely wanted to speak in reference to the rose otter or rose absolute or just rose oil in general and you can get um, some that is not in that particular price range but it's still going to vibrate higher okay all right loves that's all i think i have for tonight other than that thank you all so much for supporting my channel i am doing a giveaway so stay tuned for that i just did a giveaway on a tarot deck so I like to put back into the universe because spirit blesses me on a continual basis and I want to pour into you guys too. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and namaste.